A seven-year-old child presents with sudden onset of petechiae and bruising. Laboratory tests reveal thrombocytopenia. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Leukemia B. Idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura ITP C. Hemolytic uremic syndrome HUS D. Aplastic anemia Correct answer B. Idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura ITP Idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura ITP is also known as immune thrombocytopenic purpura. It is an autoimmune disorder where the immune system mistakenly destroys platelets, leading to thrombocytopenia, that is low platelet count. This results in symptoms like petechiae, that is small red spots on the skin, bruising and mucosal bleeding. ITP often follows a viral infection and is more common in children. Which of the following is the most common cause of acute diarrhea in children worldwide? A. Rotavirus B. Escherichia coli C. Salmonella D. Giardia lamblia Correct answer A. Rotavirus Rotavirus is the most common cause of acute diarrhea in children worldwide. Vaccination has significantly reduced its incidence in many countries. Symptoms include vomiting, watery diarrhea and dehydration. A one-year-old child presents with a unilateral red swollen eyelid and fever. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Orbital cellulitis B. Preceptal cellulitis C. Conjectivitis D. Dacrocystitis Correct answer B. Preceptal Cellulitis Preceptal Cellulitis is an infection of the eyelid and surrounding tissues anterior to the orbital septum. Orbital Cellulitis involves the deeper structures and is more severe. Which of the following is the most common cause of seizures in neonates? A. Hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy B. Hypoglycemia C. Meningitis D. Genetic disorders Correct answer A. Hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy Hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy is the most common cause of seizures in neonates, often due to perinatal asphyxia. It results from a lack of oxygen and blood flow to the brain during delivery. A 6-year-old child presents with a sore throat, fever and a greyish-white membrane covering the tonsils. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Streptococcal pharyngitis B. Diphtheria C. Infectious mononucleosis D. Peritonsillar abscess Correct answer B. Diphtheria Diphtheria is caused by Cornibacterium diphtheriae. It is characterized by a greyish-white membrane in the throat. It is rare in vaccinated populations but can cause severe respiratory obstruction and systemic toxicity. A 3-month-old infant presents with a persistent cough, wheezing and difficulty feeding. Chest X-ray shows hyperinflation. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Asthma B. Bronchiolitis C. Cystic Fibrosis D. Pneumonia Correct answer B. Bronchiolitis Bronchiolitis is a common viral infection in infants often caused by respiratory syncytial virus, RSV. It leads to inflammation of the small airways, bronchioles, causing wheezing, cough and hyperinflation on chest x-ray. 
symptoms typically peak around 3 to 5 days and resolve with supportive care. Which of the following is the most common cause of viral pneumonia in infants? A. Respiratory syncytial virus RSV B. Influenza virus C. Parainfluenza virus D. Adenovirus Correct answer A. Respiratory syncytial virus RSV Respiratory syncytial virus is the most common cause of viral pneumonia and bronchiolitis in infants. RSV infections typically peak during the winter months and can cause severe respiratory distress, especially in infants under 6 months of age. Symptoms include cough, wheezing, difficulty breathing and fever. In severe cases, infants may require hospitalization for oxygen support and mechanical ventilation. RSV is highly contagious and spreads through respiratory droplets. While most cases are mild, premature infants or those with underlying conditions are at higher risk for severe disease. Preventive measures include good hand hygiene and in some cases administration of palivizumab, a monoclonal antibody for high-risk infants. A 10-year-old child presents with polyuria, polydipsia and weight loss. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Type 1 diabetes mellitus B. Type 2 diabetes mellitus C. Diabetes insipidus D. Cushing syndrome Correct answer A. Type 1 diabetes mellitus Type 1 diabetes mellitus is characterized by polyuria, polydipsia and weight loss due to insulin deficiency. It is the most common form of diabetes in children and requires lifelong insulin therapy. A 2-year-old child presents with a 3-day history of high fever, irritability and a rash that appears as the fever subsides. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Measles B. Roseola C. Rubella D. Scarlet fever Correct answer B. Roseola Roseola is caused by human herpes virus 6, HHV6. It is characterized by 3 days of high fever followed by a rash as the fever resolves. The rash is pink, maculopapular and appears on the trunk before spreading to the extremities. It is a self-limiting condition. A 2 month old infant presents with projectile vomiting after feeding. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Gastroesophageal reflux disease GERD B. Pyloric stenosis C. Intussusception D. Hirschsprung's disease Correct answer Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.